Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about Ableton tips that I wish I knew when I started producing. Number one, and I am a little bit mad that I only recently started using this, but it is the search bar. And I've been producing for like 10 years, so... Ugh. Let's say you're in the middle of a big old session like this and you have an idea or you know what plugin you want to use. You want to add something, you want to find something. You don't have time to appear like me and just have so, so many, so many samples. All you do is hit Control or Command F and you can type in whatever and it finds stuff really quickly. It searches not just Ableton's stock stuff, but all of the folders. If I just want a snare. Wow, so many. This also works if you're in just a specific folder. So let's say I want to go through this one. If snare is typed in up here, oh, would you look at that? It only gives me snare samples, which is baller. This also works for plugins as well. Let's say I want to add an auto filter to this track here. Command F, type in auto filter, and bam, there she is. That search bar, hella useful. So speaking of auto filter, that leads me to tip number two. So when you have a song, you want to introduce a new sound or new element, you could just fade it in. But a really cool effect that you can use is by filtering in with auto filter. It combines the best of EQ and volume automation and has just has a really cool sound to it. for leads, it goes good for vocals too, like over here. You can also change the type of filter it is too to get different effects. How do we do this? Well, that leads me to tip number three. Clicking to automate. So in Ableton, you can automate pretty much anything. So that means changing any of these knobs parameters over time, that's anything here. You can push A to get to automation mode, which will give you all the little automation lines. Ableton is magic. Anytime you want to automate anything, all you got to do is just click the knob. And boom, look at that. Automatically picks the thing that you want to automate. This was game changing for me. When I was shown this, that's what switched me over to Ableton. Automate however you want it. Now let's go over some of my favorite hotkeys. If you go shift up and shift down, you can switch octaves really quickly. A lot of videos bring this up when you're doing MIDI. So if you're in piano roll, shift up and down automatically changes the octave. And you can do that with entire groups. But another thing you can do is you can do it with audio as well. So let's say I have my vocal here and I want to transpose it up a full octave, you go into the transpose here and you can quickly do that by just going up and down. And now we can really get the true marshmallow sound. Gotta love it. So let's say I have a section over here and I'm like, hey, this hat's pretty cool. I want to copy over and over. Could go copy paste, but ugh, that's a lot of button pushing when you can just select the amount of time you want and just keep hitting control D and you can do that throughout over and over and over and over and bam you got a full thing or hey let's say damn I love this drop I need it to go even longer I hit S to collapse everything select your whole section and also command D look at that you can make that drop as long as you want what if you want to get this little middle section here and you want to duplicate that without, oh no, you're going over what you've already made and that's a big ol' mess. You don't want that. If only you could just move everything over. I used to do this. I would select everything and then just move it and oh, oh what a problem. This other hotkey, Command I, you can select the area that you want to push over, Command I. BAM! Look at that, it's all moved over! And then if I want, I can Command D, BAM! And now, it is duplicated. 
Now this next hotkey is for mixing or you want to do any fine tuning with any of the knobs here. I like to use the arrow keys so I can adjust everything by exact values. And let's say I want to mix this lead here and I want like a three decibel reduction. I could drag it until it's, oh, oh, oh but that's oh, it's a little bit tougher to do it that way. So I just click that arrow one, two, three. And as I'm listening back, I will be just arrowing up and down just to get a more fine-tuned experience. And alternatively, if you want to get even more fine-tuned, you hold shift up and down as well, and you go by the decimal. You can also do that with the mouse too. If you're like me, if you like to work with a lot of audio or vocal tracks, you want to make sure that your warp mode is set to complex pro. This preserves the audio quality, especially when you're working with the pitch with the transpose knob here. You can adjust the formants here as well to adjust the tonality of it. And that's how you get some really cool vocal chops. And my final tip of the day, let's say you've got big chords and you want to experiment with rhythms. Normally what you'd have to do is go in here. Yeah, you might be able to do the duplicate thing and oh, do that. Oh, but you'd have to do that for frick every single one. Oh, but then what if you want, what if you listen back and you're like, I don't like that rhythm, I wanna change it. Okay, delete everything. Maybe try this longer and that's ugh. it's just a lot of time that you don't need to be spending so my suggestion is keep these long and then you can use back to our search bar arpeggiator if you got chords set it to chord and check this out you've got instant rhythm to it and you can switch the notes around switch the rhythms around experiment with all that and even with the gate knob here you can make the notes tighter or longer. Same thing with auto pan. Adjusting the rate adjusts the rhythm. And that's not just MIDI either. Let's say you have a big long note. I'm just going to use this crash for example. And you're like, damn, I wish I could play around with some rhythms on that. Use auto pan on that. That way you can change the rhythm, experiment. Lazy person in you will thank you. Did you learn anything? Do you have your own tips? Be sure to comment below. And if you want me to do a part two, let me know as well. If you like what I'm doing, be sure to hit like, subscribe, all that fun stuff really helps me out. And if you want, you can check out the Patreon as well. For the true homies, you can grab exclusive videos, project files, presets, and I will be doing song feedback on there very, very soon. So keep it locked on that. Other than that, hope this helped. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.